What is going on, everybody? It's Alex coming back here with another video. And today, we're just going to be giving you guys some interesting content. It's something that I haven't really done for you guys, and I probably should have a bit earlier. It is rating the UDFA rankings, just going over them, giving my analysis on them. Uh, obviously, I want to give a couple days. You know, obviously, we had a couple mock drafts coming out, and that was really fun. So I hope you guys did enjoy that. Of course, I did just drop a 2022 mock uh, for the website, and I believe it's coming out today. So check Twitter out for that. And of course, all the links in the description, use all the links, support me, hang out the Discord channel because we got a shit ton of people there and it's a great community. You don't even have to talk to me. That's the best thing. You can talk to everybody else at me if you want, do whatever. You guys know the drill. But um, until TDN really makes uh, the draft simulator, I just really didn't like the PFN one. Obviously, you saw Broshmo and I do that. But let's just check out what's going on here. We're going to start doing some player rankings soon. And um, like maybe some stuff with the actual NFL rather than the NFL draft and give me ideas for what you guys want to see as well. Because again, I've just been doing the draft, but obviously I can do other things as well. Just let me know what you guys want and I'll be starting to branch out a little bit. Obviously don't have the recording capabilities for doing Madden nor the time to edit Madden stuff. So I'm here to give you guys content that we could do online rather than um, on Xbox. But Maybe in the future we can get that in there. Just a hint. So let's start off. UDFA. Let's go by team. Arizona Cardinals. You'll see, oh, my God, the Atlanta Falcons go crazy. But Arizona Cardinals, they got um, Lorenzo Burns. Honestly, I'm going to give you guys commentary on the guys I do know. And I know Kerry Angeline is actually a pretty good tight end. The rest of these guys I'm much less um, informed about. I know Cincinnati had a pretty damn good tight end squad, but I don't know too much about LaBelle. So I'm sure that Arizona – did a, they did a great job during the draft being able to address their needs. I don't know if they're going to be able to hit on all their picks, which most teams don't anyways. But I think the Cardinals, um, they didn't really have too many holes that they needed to address in UDFA, if you get what I mean. They addressed the wide receiver and cornerback position during the draft. Maybe not well enough, but well enough to where UDFAs don't really matter. So I like this. I mean, it, it, it's representative of where they're desperate for talent. Speaking of a team that would be desperate in certain positions, it's the Atlanta Falcons. So obviously, if you ever take a cornerback from Northwestern, given how well they played this year and obviously how damn good that secondary is, I, I, I don't even care if this guy's the fourth best guy. He's been surrounded by excellent talent. Why the hell not? This is my favorite UDFA pickup, arguably. Um, Seahawks have another good one. Javion Hawkins. Obviously, I had a third round grade. Maybe I had, no, I had an early fourth on him. I mean, to me, he's like Giovanni Bernard, if he is able to reach that potential, if he's able to receive a little bit better. But I thought this was a perfect fit. I thought he'd be an excellent one-two running back with um, with Mike Davis there. He's, he's like, yeah, it's Mike Davis. So a uh, big fan of that. Obviously, there's a bunch of guys who I honestly don't know. Enroll Thompson or Errol Thompson is, I mean, it's a Mississippi State linebacker. You can always take a shot on those guys. Um, some of them do turn out. Felipe Franks, I really like this one. It's like, what, you just, you take your shot on a guy who has potential, but it's a dude who really, it's not going to change the, your franchise forever, but it could. He definitely has the potential. He was my number eight quarterback, if I'm not mistaken, but there's a lot of potential to him. I like him a lot. And then, obviously, um, again, I'm not really too keen on any of these other guys right now. Obviously, you guys might know a little bit more about some of these guys than I did, but I focused on the guys who I thought would get drafted, and most of them did. So the Ravens. Uh, let's look at what they did. So do I know any of these guys? Adrian Ely. I actually like the signing a lot. Obviously, they just got rid of their Oklahoma tackle, Orlando Brown. But Adrian Ely has a lot of potential as a guard, in my opinion. You know, he has some reps at the Senior Bowl where he looked terrible. But some reps where he looked really good. It's like, I don't think he he probably won't make the roster. But if he does, hey, good line depth, man. There's a potential he could uh, flourish into somebody. And then Tony Poljan. Dude, PFF loves Tony Paul Jennings. He's like their number five tight end. And I think it's an excellent pickup. Obviously, you didn't really hit on um, what you want with like in, during the draft on tight ends. But Tony Paul Jen, UDFA, pretty damn good signing. Xavier Kelly, you guys have to remind me about this. I thought he was Clemson. He might have transferred to Arkansas. That might have just been at the beginning of the year when he was at uh, Clemson, might have transferred to Arkansas. But uh, if that's the case, good signing. Obviously, if you got brought on by Clemson out of high school, you have some raw talent. Um, Blake Gallagher, I don't know too much about, but obviously Northwestern had a dominant defense. But do we even have to talk about this? Ardarius Washington was uh, probably like a third or a fourth to me. So getting him here in UDFA is unbelievably great talent. 
I think he actually will make the team for the Ravens. So great job by them. Bills getting uh, Trey Walker here. I like that idea. Trey Walker has a lot of potential. You know, obviously he was coming into the year as PFF's darling and didn't live up to it, but that's okay. You know, obviously he's, uh, he's a big reason why San Jose State actually played really well. Quentin Morris, tight end. I, I didn't like him at the Senior Bowl. Just didn't really see too much of him. But to be honest, it's better than a lot of the tight ends that like even Washington football team drafted during like the fourth or fifth round. So don't really blame him. Tariq Thompson, I know he's actually a pretty good guy. Mason um, did an interview with him and he liked him. Elijah Griffin, he's young. This was a really good pickup. I thought maybe he'd be like a fifth. But he's a really young guy who's very thin. But dude, why not? You're the Bills. Just take a shot on him. I like that pick a lot. I think he'd be better in man, but maybe you're able to reduce the um, impact of his weight if he's able to be in zone. Panthers going David Moore out of gambling. I mean, are you serious? I love David Moore. Thought he played really well during the Senior Bowl. Uh, Patty Fisher. I mean, it's just a it's, it's a big linebacker. He's, he's there's nothing to write home about. Spencer Brown at UAB. Like that was um. Mason loved Spencer Brown. So that's just, those are all really good pickups as well as a, a fullback from Wisconsin. You can never go wrong with might as well. So I thought they did a great job there. The Carolina Panthers. If you, I don't think I'm not going to give grades. Uh, we'll, we'll give grades. You know, we'll do it. Just we'll, we'll pull it out of our ass. Cardinals. I'm just going to give them obviously like a B just because they didn't really need to do anything. Uh, Falcons. I give them an A. They, they got a lot of really good players. Uh, Ravens. I'm giving them a B plus just because they, they stole one here, but, most of these guys won't make an impact. Um, Bills got to give them like a C plus. There's just nobody who's gonna, who I can actually see making an impact on the team. But Panthers got to give them a solid, solid A minus right there. I like it. Bears, um, Charles Snowden. I mean, I love this. They went after Leonard Floyd in the first round a couple of years ago. I thought Charles Snowden was at least draftable. He's six seven, has coverage skills, and does have some pass rush. So that's unbelievable to me. A uh, CJ Maribel. I, he he's really good out of coastal Carolina. I don't understand why he wasn't drafted at all. There's some running backs. So I was like, what the hell is going on here? But that's the only guy I can really like fully give you guys some actual um, information on. So I'm going to give this one an A minus for the bears. Cause again, I think two of their guys could make the roster and actually be playing on the field at some point this year. Bengals uh, game Puka. I like Puka. That's a really, really good pickup. I had, a, I had probably like a fifth round grade on Puka. So to get him here, UDFA, pretty damn good. Uh, I could definitely see him playing this year, which is unbelievable. So that's excellent value right there. Uh, I don't know why the hell you bring on Colin Hill. South Carolina quarterbacks were garbage, like straight trash. But that's the only guy I can really see. But you're still getting a guy who's starter, uh, who can potentially start in case of an injury to Joe Mixon. I'm getting that at B. Browns, uh, we'll, we'll see what they did. They got Marvin Wilson. That's pretty much it, though. Marvin Wilson might be able to take some snaps from Tommy Togiai. So I'm going to give that one a B minus, but there's nothing else really good. Oh, there's actually Rugamba. I know that one of our subs loves Manny Rugamba. So, you know, he apparently is pretty damn good. I never studied him personally, but I'm going to move that up to a solid B. That's a, that's a good job. Cowboys, they, they, they went straight out and went, got a ton of, uh, a ton of people. So uh, I, I don't know anything about Jaquan Hardy. But Brennan Eagles, I think that's a super solid pickup for a very good depth wide receiver. I thought Eagles was definitely underrated. But obviously, we're going to talk about TJ Vasher, six foot six, 200 and I think six pounds. He's very thin for his size. But man, there's a, there's a good chance that he could make some snaps this year. He's huge. Like, just why not? Uh, it's kind of like going to be like one of those. You can use him in the slot as like one of the bigger slots. I, I love it. I love the potential right there. Then obviously, Osiris Mitchell, pretty damn good as well. Um, I don't know any of these guys. I know Nick Eubanks is, he's okay, but Anthony Hines, that's a great pickup right there. So I like that a lot. Uh, I'm giving the Cowboys a solid A minus right there, just because the TJ Vasher could be potentially making a start. Brandon Eagles, good depth in the case of injuries. And again, I think Anthony Hines has some potential there. Broncos, we're going to keep going through this. Uh, Drew Himmelman, I thought that's a pretty damn good pickup. You know, it's good tackle depth. I love that a lot. But most of these guys, I don't really know too much about. So I give this one a solid C minus given the fact that they probably could have addressed um, the picks a little bit better. I want to see who got Sedarius Hutcherson. That's going to be fun. Uh, but Detroit Lions, they got Rakeem Boyd, pretty solid uh, running back out of Arkansas. Uh, I don't know too much about Dedrick Mills, but he didn't really do too much to me. Jonathan Adams, if he can fix the drop issues, love it. Javon McKinley, I honestly heard that he was better than Ben Skoranek from Broshmo, so uh, I, I like that as well. Sage Surratt, that's an excellent pickup. I hate Sage Surratt, but 
man, he's not UDFA. To me, he was a solid sixth round pick just because he is an aggressive ass dude. I really like that pickup. Tommy Kramer, excellent dude. You're getting Drake Jackson and Tommy Kramer, two guys who could potentially start on a team and both from school uh, from, yeah, from schools. I'm like from teams uh, from schools that are known for being able to run the ball as well. And we see the Detroit lions. They have a lot of really good running backs in there. And I know they're going to try to take some pressure off Jared Goff. So this line depth, wonderful pickups. So I'm also going to give this one a solid A just because they got they got some really, really good players. Green Bay Packers. Uh, yeah, don't really think they did a very good job here. Obviously, you get Wisconsin offensive lineman, but I've never even heard of John Dietzen. So that's a little bit unfortunate, man. That's, that's really unfortunate because I think that they could have done a lot in free agency, and they just really didn't. So I'm very surprised by that. Houston Texans, I mean, they did so much in free agency. Do they really need to do much here? Demon Hazelton, I'm happy that he actually got brought on by a team. There, there was time where he was like up in like the third round territory. And I was like, why? And then Marlon Williams, he ran a terrible 40 time. That's why he's down here. He's going to be an excellent, excellent depth wide receiver for this team. And again, there you got some guys from like Texas A&M who are going to be on the roster. They're used to a mobile quarterback similar to, um, to what they kind of have right now in Tyrod Taylor. I love the pickups, so I'm giving this one a solid B plus. You know, they might not make impacts, but they could, and they actually fit what they what they're looking for. Colts getting Tyler Vaughn's. I love Tyler Vaughn's. I don't know about you guys. I had a six round grade on Tyler Vaughn's, and I guess that's not really saying much. But you know, he's a little bit older, but he fits. It's a USC wide receiver. You're bringing him back with um with Michael Pittman. I love that. And then, um, uh, I know I know about Kuf- uh, Kaufisi or Kufis Kufusi. I don't know. I for once I actually don't know really how to say a name very well. But, you know, this is solid linebacker depth, but really this is probably going to be a solid C, maybe a C plus. Tariq Black's pretty solid as well. So it's just, there's nothing really to write home about, but still some solid pickups. Jacksonville Jaguars, uh, they got Amatra Bebe. That's pretty good. I like Amatra Bebe. They got Dylan Moses as well. I'm praying that he can get over those knee injuries, uh, the knee issues, and then you never know. This could be a first first over uh, first round pick that you get in UDFA. DJ Daniels, really damn good depth corner as well. Uh, Tim Jones, I've heard some good things about him as well. So they did a pretty damn good job here, the Jaguars. I'm giving that a solid A minus. Good job, Chiefs. Um, you got Shane Buchel here. You know that's really good depth. It's going to be able to keep you in game, similar to what they want in Chase Daniel. Uh, so pony up, by the way. Uh, apart from that, you know, Boodle actually isn't a bad corner from Nebraska. So I'm happy that he got brought on. I'm excited to see where Wild Goose actually went. I forgot if he, I don't think he went in the draft, but um, nothing really to write home about here. You got solid backup quarterback. So giving that one a solid C plus, you know, there's just nothing that I could really be like, wow, great job. Raiders, Dylan Stoner from Oklahoma State. Ah, it's okay. But they got Darius Stills. That's an excellent pickup. I had a solid four on Darius Stills. I'm a big fan of Darius Stills and his potential. Very high floor guy. And he kind of makes up for the fact that they don't have really um, anybody past this next year. They're at interior defensive line for the time being. And I think they brought back um, some of their dudes for longer contracts. But free agency, most of, the, most of the holes were filled with one-year contracts. Darius Stills, good guy for a longer-term uh, deal. Matt Bushman, it's just a guy. He's going to be like, what, 25, 26? But it's really good depth. He was the entire offense for BYU. Big fan of it. Trey Raggis, um, actually is pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest. He was actually pretty good for uh, Louisiana Lafayette. I liked him quite a bit. But none of these guys I'm really surprised about besides Darius Stills. So I'm giving it a B minus. So, you know, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Chargers, uh, what did you guys do? I, I uh, Oh, yeah, amen. Uh, he's actually a pretty good linebacker of Oklahoma State. And then El- Elijah Stove. I like Elijah Stove. So I'm honestly going to give this one a B minus because there's a lot of dudes here who I'm like, who the hell are these guys? But man, they did. That's a pretty good job. Obviously, Cincinnati had some good offensive line as well. So Darius Harper is used to a semi-mobile quarterback. So I like it. I like it a lot, especially if uh, guys go down. That's going to be a very good backup. But Elijah Stove, I think he's super underrated. Rams, uh, you got Alaric Jackson. I love that. You have tackle and guard versatility right there. Paris Ford, obviously. I mean, Ran a four nine, so hopefully he can get back into shape. But you know, there's a lot of potential right there. Uh, and apart from that, nobody else. But Paris Ford should not have gone undrafted. All right. So with these two picks, they're going to actually make an impact on this team. I'm giving this one a B plus. I like it. Miami Dolphins. You know, you got pretty much nothing. So I'm going to be honest. I'm giving like the whole entire draft of the Dolphins has been pretty terrible. So I'm going to give this one a solid F. You know, I just. I think they just failed the draft. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I just think they failed it. 
Vikings. Uh, Blake, uh, Blake Prohl. I like it. I like that pickup a lot, actually. Myron Mitchell, pretty good as well. I like him. Watt Filer, pretty damn good. I believe he's in the slot. So that fills their slot role and at a pretty high level. I, I like it, especially for UDFA. Uh, Top Borland, he actually overcame an Achilles injury to continue playing. I love that. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But for the Vikings, I'm going to give this a B plus. They did a pretty good job here. Like nothing that's going to blow my mind, but pretty good. Uh, Patriots, I'm going to give them NA just due to the fact that it's NA. They didn't even bring on anybody. Saints, Trill Williams. Oh, my God. That's an A+. plus. That's an A-plus signing right there, dude. I love that. Uh, Schooner, I've actually heard from Ohio, uh, Iowa State. They had a good-ass squad there with their tight end group. So I'm a big fan of these two bring uh, these two guys being signed here. Don't know anything about um, the punter from Syracuse, though. You know, obviously, you got some offensive linemen in here. Extra corner depth. I think they should attack corner a little bit more than just Paulson Adebo. But, you know, Trill Williams has – a lot of roles they can play in the squad. So I like that a lot. Um, apart from that, I don't really know too many other guys. Still, Trill Williams to me was a third rounder, and that is amazing. So I'm going to give this one an A minus just because you actually might get a dude who's going to legit start on your squad very soon, especially if injuries pop in. So I'm giving that an A minus solely based off of one huge impact player, the Trill Williams. New York Giants, you know, they did absolutely nothing. So I don't think Brett Hagee is really going to change my mind on that. At least they got some offensive linemen, so I'll give them a D- minus at best. Jets, Kenny Yaboa, A-plus pick, dude. It's a fourth-round grade on this dude. Hey, he He's actually a really, really good tight end. I don't get why the NFL didn't like him. It's kind of weird to me. Hamilcar Rashid, definitely somebody he's he fell out of the draft because people don't know where to place him. He sucks at coverage. He's not big enough to be um, a 3-4 or maybe a 4-3, and then really he can only pass rush from the 3-4, so he's a sub-package guy only, but also injuries have just totally ruined his career. So I, I think that that's an excellent pickup, though. I gave him like a fourth or maybe a fifth round grade. Just, I mean, if they, I mean, anybody can use him, it's going to be Robert Sala. So I, I love that pickup as well. Really, really good pickup. Tristan Hodge as well. Yeah, that's a great, I mean, BYU loves to run the ball, and you're putting him with his former quarterback. So I love it. Uh, Chris Nagar, you know, he he's, he was a really good kicker for us. I'm not going to lie. He won us quite a few games. That's a really good pickup as well. And, of course, pony up. And, you know, the rest, the rest of the team I don't really fully understand. So, with the draft, I, I mean, I'm, this is a this is solid A to A-plus UDFA signing. Like, that's a huge need that they filled right there with the UDFA. Who will start? Eagles, Jamie Newman, solid backup. He can definitely continue what they're trying to run in case of an injury. Trevon Grimes, I like that a lot as well. Obviously, I thought that he should have been drafted. Had more of like a fifth round grade on him. He's a like six four dude. He has a lot of potential. A lot of guys said this guy's the hardest guy we've ever played against. Um, Jamon Osman, good signing as well. He, he was very talented for Texas A and M. Uh, Jaquan Bailey, you know, there was a time where he was like a fifth round guy. So there's potential there. And then obviously, I don't know the other guys, but I'm gonna give this one a solid A minus for the Eagles. They did a really good job, but none of these guys are probably gonna start one day. Uh, Steelers, Shakir Brown, probably going to be in the slot, but he definitely could be on the outside. I thought this was amazing value, amazing value. Uh, I was so happy when I saw Shakir Brown going with the Steelers because I kept saying, dude, for fuck's sake, stop getting Trey Norwood, get Shakir Brown. And they did it. They got both. So I love that. And then like Rico Bussey, I think that he transferred and then uh, he was like a super senior. It might've been because of injury, but he was actually apparently dominant for Hawaii. I like that. And then the rest of these guys, I'm not really too much, uh, familiar with Lamont Wade's pretty good but obviously the Steelers love drafting Penn State safeties so that's just Steeler so I mean with the only thing that's really great is Shakir Brown so I gotta give the Steelers a B but that that's still a really really good pickup that could potentially start but I'm not like fully guaranteeing that he's gonna start San Francisco 49ers getting uh, Austin Watkins is pretty good and Justin Hilliard's great and Josh Peterson so I gotta give him a solid A for what they've done but gotta drop that down to a B plus given the fact that they didn't really sign anybody else for just depth Seahawks here we go Brian Mills solid corner really good depth and then Kate Johnson I love it you know Kate Johnson could definitely be more in that Tyler Lockett role if you really want him to be Tamari and Terry oh my god you got DK 2.0 in UDFA I can't believe it I thought Tamari was gonna be a third round pick I'm gonna be straight up I thought he was going to be and then it would just be like oh well we'll see if he actually can live up to that UDFA is ridiculous and then obviously I don't know really any, any, really any of these other guys, but overall I got to give this an A plus dude. You got two guys who could potentially start and then some really good depth at a position of desperate need.
that's a big, big A plus uh, overall draft for the Seahawks. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you know, uh, Borgalis, I don't know why the hell he didn't get drafted. He was one of the better, if not best, kickers in the draft. And then obviously the rest of these guys, not really. Sedarius Hutcherson, holy shit, that's where he went? Why do the Buccaneers scoop up some of the best guys? He can like squat like 900 pounds or something like that. It's just unbelievable how strong Sedarius Hutcherson is. This is the perfect place for him to be a backup. Unbelievable. I'm sorry. I was about to give this like a solid, like maybe a B minus, maybe a C minus. This got to be a B now because Sedarius Hutcherson just blows that way up, at least a full grade. Titans, um, really going to be honest. Uh, Naquan Jones, okay. Miller's Forrestall, uh, ew, okay. You know, this is um pretty terrible for how much they actually needed some extra like wide receiver depth. Imagine if they were able to get a TJ Vasher or um, Tamori and Terry. Like that's what they needed. They kind of busted out on that, guys. They could have also gotten, you know, Kenny Yaboa, but they stuck for Miller Forrestall. I'm giving that a solid F. And then Washington ending it off with Jarrett Patterson. I actually think that's a really, really good signing. So Overall, um, I think I obviously given the fact it's only one signing, I'm going to give it like a solid B minus, but it's a great signing. So let me know what you guys think. I'm actually going to do overall draft grades as well, uh, probably for tomorrow's vid, but just want to get you guys some content out right now because I've got an interview. Wish me luck. Thank you. I'll see you on the far side. Peace.